So, fuck electronic arts or electronic farts as I like to call them uh, and their stupid uh, fucking protected loaders or multi loads. I can play uh, Marble Madness on the SD to IEC and my original copy, the disc is. Um, it's not in perfect condition, it probably does work, but the SX64 disc heads need cleaning. Now, I don't have uh, a disc drive uh, serial lead uh, to connect up the disc drive to the C64 and try it, because I have got a disc drive or two in really nice condition, low mileage. Okay, so say about music, I can't hear any music. That's better. Sounds like Neil Allsop who did uh, the Wizardry soundtrack. So I'm going to play gyroscope instead. Oh crap. The joystick is in the wrong port. We've wasted seven seconds. So yeah, to go diagonally, you do actually have to uh, move the joystick diagonally. Ah, you can't touch the walls there. Why is it restarting me on the blue bits? Okay, I can see why there was a trainer option for this. This is infuriatingly difficult. Now, uh, it's already put me in a bad mood. Uh, because of touching the walls will kill you, so... Ooh, where did he bloody come from? So if you want to test out the old uh, zip stick, quick shot 2, whatever, Wicko Boss, if you're some sort of sicko, Wicko si Boss for sickos, well, it put me there. I didn't move there. I wasn't even touching the joystick. So, you got to land perfectly in the center when you go through the exit. That's really stupid. Which is a real shame, because the scrolling is nice and smooth. Uh, they're not trying to attempt to do the weird Mega Drive-ish FM sounding uh, music of Marble Madness Arcade which is a mistake they made on the C64. So the trainer options they give you is, it'll be quite easy uh, to see all of the game. And it does look nice. I don't know what the uh, black squares mean. So I obviously save some sort of momentum. the music slow down like that so really this game hasn't been uh, play tested at the design stage enough I mean uh, touching the walls is not something that kills you in the arcade so they've made it harder than the arcade uh, whilst forcing you to use uh, a joystick which is not an ideal way to play these kind of games What happened there? Why well, was it game over? So you get live land time. Right, I have to check that. Press space to restart. Look, I've got a fire button on my joystick, which you're not even using in the game. Why don't you let me press fire to start the game? So clearly, you know, this wasn't designed on the C64. Designed for a computer that people don't even have a joystick port on and might not actually own a joystick interface really so now, now that I know certain things you know yeah you do get lives you get seven lives so you know two crucial mistakes lives and a time limit uh, as well as uh, it'll kill you if you touch the wall, not just if you fall off the path. 
if you touch a wall next to the path. Well, that, neither of those make sense. But by some miracle, it's got nice music, the graphics are quite nice in the correct style. It always does that, so I don't like that. And you have to uh, go through the exits, literally a hole in the floor uh, at the right sort of angle. And the collision detection is really harsh. It's not easy to see, uh, you know, white on the cyan, one pixel wide, you know. Ah, you have to go that way. Right, okay. Ah, I'm not even sure why I died the last. Maybe if you go over the black squares, it kills you. This is only the second time I've ever played it with a joystick on a real C64. I'm not even sure I played it on uh, emulators. Because so many of the channels I watch have covered this. You know, either as uh, comparing all the versions or, you know, just playing the C64 game. So the, the, the trainer options, uh, in this case, actually fix the uh, mistakes that they made when they were doing this game. So those three mistakes, really, I wish the, the tiles were turquoise, I wish they were like light grey if not white. And uh, but you know what you could if you had an action replay six or seven, you could actually hack this uh, into something um, that's That's you know quite a usable engine for uh, a very good uh, knockoff of Marvel Madness, and you could make it unlimited lives, and uh, you know not not touching the walls. Uh, maybe there's a code for that, but yeah, that's it. Game over. It's really tricky, or at the very least. Moving left would, you know, move you diagonal and down. You know, pushing left on the joystick. There's no need to literally make you use the uh, diagonals on the joystick. I fucking hate that on isometric games. Stroke, false perspective, stroke, three quarter view, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I'm glad with the trainers, and possibly I might even be able to hack it so it's an animation of a multicolor marble. That'd be pretty cool actually.